How mind mapping helps learning. Let's face it, we could all use a helping hand when it comes to learning new, challenging concepts. We have our tricks for helping ourselves remember things or sort through information, like taking notes, discussing the topic with others, or even quizzing ourselves. But are these the most effective learning methods? Tony Buzan, the pioneer of mind mapping, would give a resounding no. Buzan was an English educational consultant and author. In the 1970s, he was featured on a show called Use Your Head that aired on BBC, where he coined the term mind mapping. He made the argument that mind maps were a more effective way to learn and retain information. And he even launched a software program, iMindMap, to support the concept. Why was Buzan so adamant that mind maps were the superior method of learning? Are they actually more effective than traditional approaches? Before we get to all that, Let's find out what mind maps truly are. What are mind maps? A mind map represents information with graphics. It starts as a blank canvas, but you add bits of information to it little by little to brainstorm, deconstruct a complicated concept, or help you remember new things. Rather than taking notes in a structured list type document, a mind map lets you throw ideas at it. Literally, any idea will do. Typically, you start a mind map with a keyword, phrase, or idea in the center of the map, whether on a page, whiteboard, or computer screen. From there, you write down anything that comes to mind with that idea. Questions, keywords, observations, a feeling, anything is fair game. Just connect the surrounding idea to the main idea and then keep on going from there. Eventually, you will have a graphical layout, much like a map of all your thoughts and ideas. It's a framework around your central concept, which helps you analyze and absorb all of the information associated with it. A mind map is a highly effective way to get your brain's thoughts into one diagram, representing all of them at once. Think of a mind map like the map to a city. The downtown area, the city's central hub, is like the main idea of your mind map. The major roadways branching out from downtown is like your primary thoughts or initial response to the main idea and the secondary roads leading out to the suburbs are much like your secondary thoughts. A mind map lets you throw out your ideas in any order, then worry about organizing them or building your city's infrastructure later. Your first mind map. There is no right or wrong way to create a mind map. While there are two standard methods for developing them, they are starting points or guidelines, not a hard and fast rule. The Buzan method is the original method developed by Tony Buzan himself. It starts with a central image which has several branches leading to basic ordering ideas, which have several more branches leading to more complex ideas and thoughts. Each branch is labeled with a single keyword to help organize the map, and a color coding system helps link each concept together. The second most prominent mind mapping method is the spider and bubble method. While this method is similar to the Buzan method, it tends to be more generalized and less rigid than Buzan's original mind map. The spider and bubble method starts with a central image or idea like Buzan's, but then the branches are connected to bubbles that encompass your thoughts. The branches are not labeled and you can link them to different bubbles all over the map to help draw connections between all the topics. As you create your first mind map, there are three things to ask yourself. What do you need? What is best for you? And how do you learn? Mind mapping is all about you. Whether you're using it as a tool during a study session or brainstorming session, a mind map is all about helping you process information. Think about what your preferred medium is. Some people find it easier to use paper or a whiteboard, writing everything out by hand. Others prefer to use a mind mapping software like MindMeister, XMind, or even Microsoft Visio. So what benefits can you get from mind mapping? And does it actually help you learn? Let's map it out. Mind mapping helps with note taking. Think back to your high school or college days. Some instructors would talk a mile a minute and it was everything you could do to scribble every word into your notebook frantically. When class was over, you were left with a wall of words on the page with no real significance or distinction between filler information and key points. It was hard to sift through everything to find the right things to study, right? Mind mapping gives meaning to the notes you take. 
Rather than listing out everything the instructor says, students begin by writing the main topic in the middle of the page, then capture the critical details of the lecture in the bubbles or branches of their mind map. This mind map approach allows them to focus on processing the material being taught, rather than just passively writing down every word. Mind mapping makes it easier to figure out complicated problems. Chuck Frey is the author of the Mind Mapping Software blog. Every year, Frey conducts a survey to dig into the benefits and usability of mind mapping in the business sector. In the 2017 publication of his survey, participants reported that the top benefit they experienced with mind mapping software was an improved understanding of complex issues. Think of how that translates to students who are learning new concepts. When you're learning something for the first time, it definitely feels complex, doesn't it? Mind mapping helps people wrap their minds around complicated problems or concepts by allowing them to process each element of that topic individually, one bubble at a time. Mind mapping supports recall and memorization. Mind maps are a visual representation of information. Images, shapes, colors, and connections are dynamic mental triggers that help our brains process and retain vast amounts of data. So we are more prone to remember information presented in a mind map graphic than on the page of a book. Studies show that mind mapping improves memory and retention of information by 10 to 15%. Mind mapping helps with comprehension. Mind mapping is an excellent tool for improving students' comprehension as well. In 2013, the Modern Journal of Language Teaching Methods published a study investigating how mind mapping helped students in Iran learn English as a second language. The study found that 83.4% of the students found mind mapping helpful, and they felt that it was easier to solve English-based activities after using mind maps to learn a new phrase. Mind maps structure information intuitively so that the learner can fully absorb the new concept. Students with a visual learning style find it especially helpful and much more useful than sifting through large chunks of text. Mind mapping has been around for a few decades, but it could be the future of learning. Thanks for watching Cerebral Life, the channel where you learn more and improve your life. See you next time!